there are two variables that are very important to innovation in general. One is, uh, do we know what we need innovation for? So is it actually directed activity or non-directed activity? So do we, for example, need innovation for a specific problem that we're trying to solve? So we have a clear mandate uh, to solve, for example, homelessness or poverty or climate change. And we are innovating uh, for that direction, for that purpose in general. But again, innovation can be explo about exploring and adapting to new situation and the ideas that just come up. Um, pe uh, people being creative and coming up with things. So the direction or the lack of it is actually a very important uh, key variable for defining innovation. The other key variable for innovation itself is how radical or incremental it is. So actually how uncertain uh, the process is or if we can calculate risks connected to innovation itself. In other ways, it can be described about uh, is innovation about uh, exploration or exploitation. Do we are, are we exploiting already existing ideas and trying to use them in new contexts or are we already uh, or also creating new ideas in the process itself? So we have two angles. We have is the direction or is there not direction and uh, how uncertain the situation is. So are there deep uncertainty or calculated ris risks? And depending on these variables, uh, four different uh, areas or facets of uh, public sector innovation emerge. So when uh, innovation is connected to directed purpose-filled activity, then we have mission-oriented innovation. It is also a concept that Mariana Mazzucato uh, in UCL has been working on, uh, how to solve the most important missions of today. Uh, then when we have uh, an exploration activity where we don't have a clear direction where innovation is going, then we can talk about adaptive innovation, we, where innovators explore new ideas uh, during their daily practices. When the situation is about deep uncertainty and exploration of new ideas and radical transformation can, ex uh, ex can emerge, then uh, we can talk about anticipatory innovation. We anticipate the transformation in the future. So we're, we are working on ideas that can be actually quite radical to the systems at hand. And we are, when we are enhancing the systems that or are already in place, we can talk about enhancement-oriented innovation. So four different key areas of public sector innovation that all need a different kind of uh, direction, strategy, capacity, uh, and also allowance for innovation to happen in government itself.